All right, guys, day 13, Friday the 13th, extra spooky. Today's house is being haunted by Mother Nature. She's reclaiming this land and won't let anything stand in her way. I didn't go into this one with much of a plan in mind, but I'm happy with how it turned out. In retrospect, I think if I did it again, I'd go even more overgrown, but the thing I'm loving about Inktober is that you can't really dwell on the small changes you'd make from one day to another, because there's just no time. You just have to move on to the next one. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. I got a few questions from people who find that the fear of messing up stops them from creating at all, which is something that I can really relate to. It sucks when you have an idea in mind for a drawing or painting and can't execute it. And I talked more about that in, I think it was day four's video, having ideas but no motivation. In that one, I do talk about the fear and hesitation and how to tackle that practically. But I have a few more suggestions for when you know that you could be doing so much more art if you just wouldn't keep talking yourself out of it, knowing it won't be perfect. So a daily drawing challenge like this is great because as I said, there's no time to dwell on things. You might find it easier to find a prompt that you feel really comfortable with, draw the thing that you draw the most or the best, be it faces or houses. When you start doing that every day, not giving yourself a choice to do otherwise, you refocus your attention on the act of drawing, not the final result. And that's the most important part. We learn a lot more during the process of drawing than what we can learn just by looking at the finished piece. Another thing I found has helped me combat perfectionism is creating a safe space for mistakes. I've talked about my no judgment sketchbooks before. I have about four or five sketchbooks on the go at any given time. Most of them I would never show you guys or anyone else. It's important to have a place where you can create completely freely without any influence from what people might think. I have sketchbooks where I write messy notes and try out new ideas, test new pens or just scribble. Sometimes when I'm done with them, I throw them away because I really don't give them the same value that I do to other sketchbooks. And that's important. There's nothing precious about it. It's all practical. You might find that it helps to work on scrap paper or just loose sheets of printer paper. Just having somewhere that you're allowed to make mistakes can really free up the creative restraints that we put on ourselves. Rather than shelving an idea completely because we're afraid we won't be able to execute it, we have somewhere where we can at least give it a try. Okay, so for the next couple of days I'm going to be out of town visiting family. I've managed to pre-record a couple of videos to keep my video streak going, but for the sake of time there won't be a voiceover on them. I know a lot of you guys quite liked the one without the voiceover last week anyway, but I thought I would just give you a warning nonetheless. So I hope you have a great weekend, keep up the good work, and I'll speak to you next week as our Inktober adventure continues. Bye.